Hello everyone, we are The Paradox, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make material for the surgical face mask. If you want to learn how to make the surgical face mask on The Marvelous Designer, we uploaded a video of how to make it on our channel, you can also see that. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and hit the notification button, so you do not miss our future videos. Well, let's not waste any more time and go to it. We examine the topology of the model. We enter the unwrap section and put the mask model on the UV screen. We place the clusters in their largest state, so that they cover the entire UV screen. Rotate the necessary clusters to fit correctly on the UV screen. We rearrange the clusters. Now because our topology is triangular we have to make it quadrilateral, to have a standard topology. In this part, with the pin tool, we attach the parts of the mask that we need to the avatar. We make final adjustments to the model to prepare it for output. I suggest the output as obj, because in this case more settings are placed in the output for us. In the output settings, we enable the thick option, otherwise, if you need the other options, you can also use them but because this time we want to use the thicknesses, we activate this option. Add the output model to the substance painter. If there is no problem in the output model, we go to baking. In the back settings section, 
we activate the necessary options and specify the texture size. Now, according to the reference photo, we will start producing materials for the mask. In the first layer, select the overall color for the mask. In the second layer, we choose another color and mask it to the previous layer using textures, so that the two colors are combined and not in the same way. In the next layer, we create small and clear noises on the model. We do this using masks and textures in the next layer, we produce fine fabric details. To do this, we are looking for an acceptable texture. After we found the desired texture, adjust it on the model and adjust its height.
we check the light contact with the material surface and correct it if there is a problem. Arrange all the layers and put them in a folder, and assign a mask to that folder. For the second material, we create a folder and put the first layer in that folder. In the first layer, we assign the primary color to the model. In the next layer, we create protrusions on the material. In the next layer, using the paint tool, we produce the metal part of the front of the nose and assign the desired material to it. We produce the next material for the ear area. To do this, create a folder and put the first layer in the folder, and assign the desired mask to the folder. In the first layer, select the color.
In the second layer, using textures and masking, we create small points and details on the model and material. We give height to these small points produced. In this section, we adjust the height and number of points to be better on the model. According to the reference, we see that small black dots are seen in the image. To produce these points, we create other layers, and use the paint tool to create those points manually on the model surface.
repeat for the bottom. Now the desired materials have been obtained, we can output the textures from this software. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you and could have added something to your information. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it so that you do not miss our future videos. If you like this video, please like it, it will help us a lot. If you have any questions, you can say them in the comments section. So I will see you in future videos.